In this video you will learn how to apply the incident solar radiation analysis with inside Vasari and we'll take a look at what kind of design goals and what kind of analysis methods will be appropriate and the limitations and possibilities for using this tool with inside Vasari. I have now opened the Ecotech environment and we're going to take a look at the Ecotech solar radiation tool with inside Vasari. I'm using this tool really for multiple different ways. I'm using the tool for kind of creating a baseline for the existing conditions. So let's turn on the turn off the new development here. So what I often begin with is really to I know from this project here it was demand that we shouldn't make too much impact on these three facades here and on these facades here. So really to measure how much heat they're getting as incident solar radiation on the existing conditions and then being able to use that for comparing different design solutions is uh, one of the things. And then of course when we begin our development, which I will get back to in a minute, is how we can use solar radiation to, to optimize our geometry and uh, interior design conditions of our spaces. So let's just start with these three here. I just turned on the Equitech Solar Radiation tool and what I'll start out is just doing a one year solar study. You are of course able to go in here and just choose maybe in a later stage going in looking at a summer solar study because it's more qualitative to look at for example courtyards or whatever where we want to have a lot of sun in the summer because generally in a Nordic climate we want to gather and use as much solar radiation on our facade but we want to have a good balance we don't want to have all the solar radiation on one facade we want to have a good distribution to create a good environment and lighting conditions and avoid discomfort etc so let's start out just making a reference study on these three facades here we just mark them out and we click here now that's done and there's different styles and types and units you can apply so first of all instead of just using the total i'm looking at the average and then sometimes using the peak for getting some kind of sense of what, what are the peaks in this project or in this location here. So let's look at the average value because it's easier to compare and it's a bit more qualitative to look at. Then we have different styles. One of the tricky things about Masari is that we're not able to control the color scale. And that means that as we go along in the project and we are selecting new faces to simulate, it's we can't really count on the color scale because it's changing but when we're looking at the envelopment where we want to have a good distribution and good balance of course we can use it and as well looking at the side to see where there will be most shaded areas and where there will be most sun so um, here we just do this a bit more effective i did a new style here numbers and it's really just to have some numbers that helps us to not only visualize with colors but really to look at how much radiation will reach these facades before doing the new envelopment here and then what i'll do is just taking the numbers out to excel and and just save it out as existing and just to show you how this is working just quickly open Excel and go to my folder here and just pull it in and then you'll see that I'm getting all the data from the simulation how much radiation what kind of points etc then it's really just pretty simple to go in and make an average value and then be able to compare the different designs pull in it takes some time I like to really look at it this way and to use it directly when you're working within side Vasari and then if you want to document it a bit more or use it uh, a bit more specialized and to take it into EcoCheck. Good. Let's have a look at the new envelopment this and really here it's really great that you can use so I'm just reselecting all the faces here maybe I want to go to mark out all the faces that I want to have in the simulation I want to have all the surfaces in here and then I just run the analysis and here you'll see that when you're doing the style with numbers try to keep down the resolution a bit let's go to incident solar radiation here and what we were looking for here was really multiple things first of all to have a good balance and have a distribution over as much of the building as possible to really make sure because where we have a lot of radiation that's also where we have a lot of light so we want to of course have a good some good daylighting conditions overall in, in the building and we want to reduce the discomfort in overheating within inside the spaces so i think this is really a good example and it's really just to play a bit around with it and that's where this tool is really great with inside Vasari that you can quickly go about it and also look at should we extrude this or how could we work with these interior spaces stuff like that and also to make the facades here a bit more closed where we have a lot of radiation and do them a bit more open on where we don't have as much radiation 